I want to say good evening to everyone. In case you're wondering, no, you're not in loss, but public health and safety is on tonight first. Okay? So uh, without further ado, we're going to have a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, okay? Okay, we're going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Green. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Have a be seated. This is the uh, January 29th meeting of the Public Health and Safety Committee. And present tonight, we have our township manager, Matt Hamlin. We have our solicitor, Sean Kilkenny. Also, we have Ben Venuti, right? Yes. Ben Venuti is our newest member of our Public Health and Safety Committee. And our president, uh, Kit McFarland. And I'm Charles Whiting. Uh, we're gonna ask for the approval of the minutes for November the 17th, 19th, uh, 2023. I have no questions on it. No questions? No. no. Okay, we're going to make those approvals. Make those, make that approved. Okay. Now, now we're going to go right to our monthly reports. We'll start with Chief Block, please. Good evening. Thank you, Commissioner Whiting. It's a pleasure to present the police department's December 2023 monthly report. We responded to 1,235 calls for service for the month of December. And the total calls for 2023 were 15,248 calls. The calls for service between November and December of 2023 showed an 8% increase in volume. The monthly police department call volume is basically flat between the year 2022 and 2023. As you'll see, the outlying years on the uh, call volume to date in December of 2022, we had 1, 000, or 15,656 calls in December of 21, 14,285 calls, and in December of 2020, 13,741 calls. The overall difference uh, between December of 2020 and December of 2023 is a 10% increase in call volume. The following part one crimes were reported investigated by the police department in December. There was one aggravated assault that was cleared by an arrest. There were three robberies that occurred, strong arm robberies during the month of December, and 55 theft offenses with 31 clearance, clear, cleared by an arrest. Uh, part two crimes that were reported investigated by the police department, one narcotics offense cleared by an arrest, two disorderly conduct offenses that were cleared by an arrest, three public intoxication offenses that were cleared by an arrest, and 33 other crimes that were committed and cleared by arrest. The patrol division conducted the following proactive measures. There were 214 vehicle investigations, 23 hazardous traffic violations issued, 54 non-hazardous traffic violations issued, three parking citations in one morning, five homeless contacts, and two DUI investigations. They occurred between 7 at night and 7 in the morning. Traffic safety unit was busy during the month of December. There were 50 calls for service, six traffic and parking issues, one traffic study, one directed patrol, 102 uh, traffic stops, motor vehicle investigations, in which 84 warnings were issued, 11 hazardous traffic citations issued, and 22 non-hazardous traffic citations issued. 148 bus patrol violations were issued. There were three arrests, and there were 26 motor vehicle inspection, motor vehicle uh, carrier inspections that occurred. Seven vehicles were placed out of service and one driver was placed out of service during those inspections. Our Detective Bureau of CID was equally busy. They opened 27 new cases in the month of December of 2023. They had five arrest warrants that were issued, two for illegal possession of firearms and three for receiving stolen property. There was also six search warrants that were issued, one for a cell phone, one for business records, one for a vehicle search, one for call data, or, I'm sorry, call detail records, and two for DNA uh, requests from individuals. Uh, and an overview on our burglaries year to date. In 2023, we had 20 burglaries year to date with seven clearances. In 2022, there were 21 burglaries with 12 clearances. 
2021, 24 burglaries with 12 clearances and 2020, 15 burglaries with one clearance. Uh, likewise, with our robbery offenses, they investigated year to date for 2023, there were 15 robberies with 12 clearances, five robberies in 2022 with six clearances, nine robberies reported in 2021 with two clearances. And in 2020, there were nine robberies with six clearances. All robberies remain under investigation by our detective bureau. Thefts, including retail theft year to date, totaled 542 with 271 clearances. Um, there were several uh, community outreaches during the month of uh, December, specifically with the holidays where we had our annual food drives, our clothing drives, and we partnered with um, Thompson Alexis this year to do the, the food and clothing drives as well. Um, so that is the report that I submit for December of 2023. <coughs> if any questions? Thank you. Any commissioner comments for the chief? Just the only comment is it's still just going up. It, uh, we have not gotten back to previous COVID measures or anything. It's every year. It's more and more and more. Uh, so it's a burden on your force, but uh, good job at what we're doing. Yeah, the, the, the men and women of the police department are clearly committed you know, to the public safety <coughs> within the township and all aspects of it. My hat's off to them. It's a pleasure to be their chief. Great. Okay. So related to your comment, I was wondering the year we're comparing to is um, the oldest year we're comparing to is 2020. Correct. During COVID. So what was 2019 like as far as number of calls? I don't have that. I can get that okay. to you. I can I can pull that okay. um, from the data. Just but curious. I've, I've, I've been running it since 2020 because that's when I was hired here just to show got, you. I got you. Okay. <laughs> so the comparison, but I will get those numbers to you. Any other commissioner comments? Any public comments? No public? Okay. Chief Glassman, would you give us our fire department? Thank you, Commissioner. It's my pleasure to present the monthly report for the fire department for December 2023. There was 55 fire calls, 34 EMS QRS calls for a total of 89 calls, 37 fire permit inspection. We collected $875 for the month. The yearly amount collected was 18,885. Turnpike fees collected for the month was 900 and turnpike for the year is 5,175. There were six fire marshal investigations. And major incidents for the month, on December 18th, we had storm operations with multiple rescues throughout the township. We handled nine water incidents, removed five victims from the flooding water. I attached a picture in the report. That car in the report that has water up to the windows is Mason's Mill Road. You see our people are in the water up over their waistline getting the victim out of the car. We had a significant building fire on the 29th at 616 Davisville Road. <coughs> Community-oriented events, so just like Chief Block just said, we literally were all over the township with Christmas and distributing gifts. We did the Santa run around the township with the police department. I attached a very nice letter from the Sycamore neighborhood thanking us for bringing Santa Claus there. We had seven personnel for training, completed 73 hours. Um, on the emergency management side of the house, we participated in the Eastern Montgomery Emergency Management Monthly Meeting. We also participated in a county meeting, and we had a partial activation of the EOC during the storm on December 18th. And I also want to thank Chief Block and the police department for an awesome job. They were very aggressive and in a very quick and timely fashion made an arrest for the building fire that occurred at 616 Davisville Road. Um, and that completes my report pending any questions. Any commissioner comments for Chief Glassman? Nope. No? Any public comments for Chief Glassman? Thank you, Chief. Yep. Ken here? Right here, Commissioner. I'm sorry. I moved on you. Yeah, you did. Hey. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Ken, can you give us your report, please? Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, as I've mentioned before, we continue to run a little bit further behind on our statistics. Our statistician is one of our street providers, and the way our system works takes a little while. So I have October's numbers for you this month, and I hope to have November and December for you next month. Uh, we had 305 calls for service for EMS in Upper Moreland Township, 274 were medical, 23 were motor vehicle accidents, five fires, and three detailed special service calls. It resulted in 176 patients being transported, 
38 calls where we had to rely on our mutual aid partners because we were unavailable. Uh, and you have the rest of the breakdown of the, the dispositions there. And as always, the lion's share of our patients, 161 or 91% were transported to Jefferson Health Abington. Uh, again, we're seeing a little more traffic to Children's Hospital now to have a location in King of Prussia. Uh, the uh, naloxone report, again, there were zero administrations by EMS uh, in the month of December. Uh, my monthly disclaimer that that means that we didn't administer, it doesn't mean it wasn't administered to a patient prior to our arrival. Uh, happy to report that the county EMS study is well underway. I actually had my meeting with the consultants uh, two weeks ago, and I believe Chief Walk met with them last week. Uh, they're working on a couple of different stakeholder sessions that will be coming up for the municipalities to attend, I believe some in March, and we look forward to their report coming. Uh, and then just mention for you that we have seen an uptick in calls that are more social service or uh, non-medical nature that EMS is being called for. Uh, seems to be a little bit of a shift in some of the times that EMS has called out. Uh, and some of these calls can be a little complex and take some time. So we've had more and more incidents where we called out, doesn't result in a transport, but our crews are spending a substantial amount of time on scene, working with our partners, with the police department, with mobile crisis, uh, and the county mental health teams. Uh, and unfortunately, that is taking us uh, away from our availability for other calls. So we're continuing to monitor that, continuing to partner with those agencies, um, but we have certainly seen a, a little bit of a shift and an increase in number of calls for service that are not quite as strictly medically related. Uh, that's my report. I'm happy to take any questions if you have them. Thank you, Ken. Any commissioner comments? Any public comments? No? Okay. Under old business, there is no old business to discuss. Under new business, we have uh, Chief Glassman, would you please discuss our new business concerning the car? So I'm, I'm requesting uh, permission to purchase a used fire chief vehicle from the Northampton Fire Department. Uh, the chief called me two weeks ago and he now is a township employee so he no longer can drive the previous 2015 chief's car we went up and looked at it i took fleet maintenance up there with me the thing is in pristine condition he tells me newport sold the same vehicle for thirty-eight thousand dollars. he has offered it to upper moreland for twenty thousand dollars the light package itself is worth twenty thousand dollars I'm anticipating to sell a 2006 and 2009 Ford Explorer to cover most of the cost. I've uh, spoken with the shop and we think we feel that we can get between 13 to 16,000 for those two vehicles. That will leave the fiscal impact at $5,000. So I'm requesting permission to purchase this vehicle. Move forward. Okay, thank you. Um, gentlemen, what is your pleasure? Do we give them the go ahead to continue? Okay, th this is for your vehicle, is that correct? This will be for the fire marshal's vehicle. Fire marshal. Right. Okay. We'll replace the 06 and the 09 Explorer. Okay. I'm okay. You're okay? I'm good. Commissioner? Yes, sir. You're okay? Okay, Chief Glassman. Thank you. Get a set of new wheels. Go ahead. Okay. Uh... As, you, as I read it to you earlier this evening, this is our first time, first meeting of the year. It's our early show. And if there's no other business to conduct at this time. I got uh, a couple of thank yous. One, I'll say thank you to the second alarmers. I hear you transported me to the hospital. Uh, not that I remember any of it, but uh, thank you. <laughs> Went well, uh, the police were there too. And another one, thank you to the police department from the Young family. Uh, their daughter uh, thought it was a false alarm having a baby, and it was for real uh, after five false alarms during the week. And the police carried her from the top floor down to her bottom floor. By then, the second alarmers was here, was there. They transported her to Abington, but did not make it to the uh, um, maternity ward. So she's considered out of hospital born. But uh, everything went well. So uh, they just wanted to say thank you from the from Bob Young and Michelle Young. And baby's doing fine. <laughs> Busy month, huh? Yeah. Okay. Is there any other business for us? Okay, if not, we stand adjourned. Thank you, gentlemen, for your participation. Hey, Ken.